guys, it's Christine Gallagher here from Red Hot Dance Fitness with your Red Hot Fit Tip of the Week. This week we're going to bring you some exercises that you can do again at the bar. If you don't have a bar at home, feel free to use a countertop. This is especially a good exercise to do in your kitchen or in a place that has a hardwood floor because we're going to use the floor to slide. Okay, so we're really going to sculpt and tone those legs um, using the stability of the bar or like I said, a countertop. And if you have a towel, grab a towel. You could also use a paper plate or um, just a sock. I have grippy socks on, so they're not going to move me from the floor, so I'm very stable on my supporting leg. But if I wanted to just use my sock, I need to put on regular socks on the foot that I'm moving. So for now, I'm just going to use a towel because I have my grippy socks on, and we're going to do a series of exercises that sculpt and tone the legs. We're also going to use optional hand weight. So if you want to sculpt the shoulders and the upper body at the same time, you can do that as well. So let's take a look at some of the exercises. So we're going to do one set of exercises in turn out, which means the hips are turned out, toes are facing the side to start out. So we're going to just bring one foot behind, kind of like you're doing a curtsy. We're going to bring the foot out to the side and you're going to push that towel into the floor, slide it diagonally back behind you so you're in a nice deep curtsy. What you want to avoid doing is bringing the weight over that knee. You want to keep the weight back and squeeze those inner thighs as you lower down and lift up to the side. I have hand weights in my hand. You're welcome to take one two pound hand weights and take them into one hand so that way you can lower down and lift, working the shoulders. Curtsy and lift. So that's your curtsy and lift. And you can stay up here and do a little pulse for the shoulders and rest the legs. The next exercise we're going to come in to do is in parallel. So the hips are squared, toes are facing front, and we're just going to take that same leg and slide it back behind us, bending that front knee and squeezing it up. Again, always putting pressure into that towel as we go back and lift back up. You're going to let that arm release forward to shoulder height. Actually helps give you some balance and lift it back up. Again, always putting your weight into that towel and squeezing on the way up, putting the weight back and pressing into that front heel as well. So you want to make sure that knee doesn't come forward over the toe, but rather your leg goes back. Again, the bar is just meant for stability, so make sure you're not giving it the death grip and you're just bringing it back and lifting it back up. Now after about eight of those, we're going to stay down. So find that place that you feel the burn in that hamstring and the glute, and you're gonna give a little pulse. Just at shoulder height again, working the shoulders. And if you get a little fatigued, you can also just lift up a little bit. Or if you wanna work a little harder, lower back down. Once we're here, we're gonna drive that elbow into the side of the body, bringing that knee in. Now the goal is to stay low. So rather than lift back up, we're just driving in and pressing back out in and pressing back out. Now once you're comfortable here, the very last exercise we're going to add on, you're going to bring the arms back in, bring weight in both arms, and you're going to release the weight away, your limbs away from the body, and we're going to do these fast. Two sets of eight. Eight, seven, bringing the elbows into the sides of the body, staying low for two sets of eight, okay? So those are all your exercises from the side curtsy to the lunge, pulse, driving it in, and then we want to make sure to always repeat on the other side. So while the one side of the body is resting, the other side is working, getting the heart rate up, which you can hear a little bit, and then switching to the other side, either the other side of the bar or facing the other direction to repeat. Stay tuned for the full video so you can practice right along with me and rewind and play it a few times so you can get your workout right at home. See you next week for next week's Red Hot Tip Tip. Nice curtsies and lift. Four more. Hold it, pulse it here. Bring it in and down. We set up that lunge. 
and we bring it back up a little faster. Weight going back, lift up nice and tall, engage the core, four more. There you go, one more. Stay down and pulse it, pulse. So keep that arm lifted and lengthen. Sit into that heel. Eight more. Feel the burn, and if you need relief, just lift it up a little. Elbow comes in with the leg. Elbow, pull it in. Try to stay low, squeeze it in. Now if you can release from the bar, two more. We're gonna separate, pull it in back. Eight, six, in four, three, two, lift it up and release. Shake out the leg and repeat on the other side. Everybody get up.